Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute cover up to match your bikini sets and one pieces. I think it's super cute. Today we're going to be doing the one on the right, which is the gathered version. So there's a bit of modification, so bear with me as we go through them. So as usual, the first thing you want to do is print your paper patterns out. Now the patterns are layered so you can isolate the sizes that you want and it's available in both A4 and A0 format. Just make sure you're printing at 100% or do not scale and double check that the test square measurements match before you cut it out in your preferred size. Now if you're doing the one in A4, please note that for this pattern because it's asymmetrical, you're going to have to mirror it to form a full pattern. So after you've matched all the half hearts, to join the pieces together, mirror it so you have that full pattern so that we can do the modification. So I'm going to explain how we're going to be doing this modification for the skirt. So for this pattern, you do not need the back, you only need the front, okay? Only the front and you're going to pick which side you want that gather to be on so that we can like use that, make it smaller and have that cute little gather. So I'm going to explain what we're going to do. We're just going to add on that side that you want the gather to be one centimeter of seam allowance. So you're only going to add one centimeter to one side. So we're going to use the same pattern for the back and for the front. So you're going to cut it twice. I'm just going to show you here the method so you understand. So you're going to cut it twice near it. So we're going to add one centimeter to one side. use that seam allowance to create strap channels. So where I'm marking here, we do not touch, we do not add anything, we leave it as is. The only thing we're adding is one centimeter to that seam where we're gathering so that when we match these two seams right sides together, they have the additional seam allowance for us to do the strap channels. So it looked like something like this. Now you can get cutting in whatever fabric that you want. Lurex would be great. I, I'm using just the matching swim fabric because I thought it was cute. And you're also going to need elastic and whatever string or thread that you want to use to do the gathers later on. So now we can get stitching. So the first thing we're going to do is finish the hem and the waistband. So you can do this in whatever way your design is. You can just overlock it with elastic and leave it as that. You can, after you put the elastic, you can fold it over and do a zigzag or you can do a cover lock stitch. It really depends on your design. So you're just gonna do the elastic for the top and for the bottom part. And where that seam allowance is, where the additional seam allowance we've added, we're just gonna overlock that seam by itself. I personally am not going to be doing any additional things after I add the elastic. I think it looks quite cute like that and my threads really match the garment so I didn't really want that bulk. When that's done, we're going to do a one and a half centimeter stitch along that side seam where we did the extension, making sure to back tack on the edges. When you have that, this is how it's going to look and now you can open it, make sure it lays flat and then we're just going to stitch right on the edge of that seam allowance so that we can create like little channels to let it thread through our string or our elastic to be able to do the gathers. And this is what you should have. It's super easy. It's a very quick pattern to make and it's super fun and super cute. Okay, so when that's done, we're going to match it on the other side seam and we're going to stitch that together. We're going to overlock that together. Now all you have to do is loop through your ties. I'm using a piece of ribbon here because I thought it looked really cute, but you can use whatever that is good for your design. You can use the same swim fabric, you can make like straps like you do for your normal swimwear. And then you just have to adjust the gathers, tie it up, and you are done. It's a really cute and simple pattern. It's not meant to be thick or lined, it's just an addition to those in-between moments when you're at the beach. And this is how it looks. I hope you guys can try it out. As usual, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.